Picture this. You're standing in the scorching 122 degrees Fahrenheit heat of Namibia, sweat pouring down your face. But then, you step into a mud hut and it's surprisingly cool inside. How is that possible? The Himba people have cracked the code on beating extreme heat. And it's not what you'd expect. Their secret weapon? It's right under their feet. You might be thinking, mud? Really? But this isn't your average dirt. We're talking about an ancient cooling technique that's been fine-tuned for thousands of years. What you're about to learn will change everything you thought you knew about staying cool and living sustainably. Get ready to rethink air conditioning as we explore this tribe's ingenious solution to extreme temperatures. Imagine finding relief from the sweltering desert heat inside a cool house, with no electricity or air conditioning. This isn't magic. It's the Himba people's ancient architectural ingenuity. Their secret lies in a special mixture of mud, perfected over millennia, that keeps their homes cool even in extreme temperatures. You might be skeptical and thinking, mud? That's it. But here's where it gets interesting. The Himba have a recipe that would make a master chef jealous. It's a carefully crafted mixture of mud, clay, and organic fibers. Each ingredient plays a crucial role in keeping the heat at bay. Think of it like a natural thermos. The mud walls absorb heat during the day, like a sponge soaking up water. At night, when the temperature drops, they slowly release that heat back into the environment. It's like when you put a hot casserole dish in the fridge. It takes a while to cool down because it's holding on to that heat. But the mud walls are just the beginning. The Himba build their huts in a dome shape. Why? A dome has less surface area exposed to direct sunlight compared to a box-shaped structure. Less sun hitting the walls means less heat getting inside. It's like they've created their own little shade umbrellas to live in. And get this, these huts aren't airtight boxes. They're designed for natural ventilation. The Himba build their huts with a small opening at the top and strategically placed windows. As the hot air rises, it escapes through the top opening, creating a natural draft that pulls cooler air in through the windows. It's like having a built-in fan system, but without any electricity. Now let's get back to that mud mixture. The organic fibers they mix in create tiny air pockets throughout the walls. These act as little insulation zones, slowing down the transfer of heat. But here's the real kicker. This mud mixture also helps regulate humidity. The clay absorbs excess moisture when it's humid and releases it back when the air gets dry. It's like having a natural dehumidifier built right into your walls. Architects who've studied these traditional building techniques have found that mud buildings often outperform modern structures made with concrete and other high-tech materials. They're incredibly resilient to extreme weather and completely sustainable. There's no need for factories. No transportation costs, no fancy equipment, just good old-fashioned elbow grease and generations of knowledge. So the next time you're sweating it out on a hot summer day, think about the Himba. Think about their mud huts, standing strong in the scorching Namibian desert. Maybe, just maybe, there's something we can learn from their 3,000-year-old air conditioning system. But how do they do it? It's all about smart design, folks. Let's compare this to our modern homes. We're building bigger and bigger houses with more corners than a geometry textbook. When it gets hot, we crank up the AC and watch our electricity bills soar. But the Himba? They're staying cool for free. Their round huts with conical roofs are like nature's own sunshield. As the sun moves across the sky, the curved surface minimizes direct exposure. Think of it like a beach umbrella that works all day long. But here's the kicker. These techniques aren't just for the desert. Architects are taking notes, realizing that sometimes the old ways are the best ways. Imagine future buildings that work with nature, not against it. Homes that stay cool without guzzling energy or burning a hole in your wallet. The Himba have turned one of the harshest environments on Earth into a comfortable home. No fancy tech, no fossil fuels, just 3,000 years of wisdom. Maybe it's time we take a page from their book and rethink how we build for a sustainable future. Imagine stepping into a house that breathes. The Himba huts have been smart for centuries, 
keeping cool in ways that would make your AC unit green with envy. These living, breathing structures work without a single watt of electricity. It's like they've got Mother Nature on speed dial, and she's working overtime to keep them comfortable. So how do the Himba create this natural air conditioning? It all starts with location. They don't just plop their huts down anywhere. They're experts at finding nature's cool spots, carefully choosing areas that catch those sweet desert breezes. These huts aren't built on flat ground. They're often slightly elevated, inviting cool air to come on in and make itself at home. And those doors and windows? They're strategically placed to create a cross breeze. Now let's talk about those thick earthen walls. They're like the world's best air filters, cooling down hot air as it passes through. But here's the real kicker. These walls act like a giant heat sponge. During the day, they absorb all that scorching heat. At night, they slowly release it back into the environment. It's like having a built-in thermostat that works with the natural rhythms of day and night. You might be wondering, does this actually work? Science tells us, yes. Studies have shown that these mud structures often outperform modern buildings, made with concrete and other high-tech materials. They're incredibly resilient to extreme weather, standing up to heat waves, floods, and even earthquakes better than many modern buildings. And let's not forget about sustainability. They're made from local materials that are readily available, with no need for factories or transportation costs. Now, I'm not saying we should all go out and start building mud huts in our backyards. But there's a lot we can learn from the Himba's approach to beating the heat. While we're cranking up our air conditioners and watching our electricity bills soar, they're staying cool for free, living in harmony with their environment. So the next time you're sweating it out on a hot summer day, think about those round mud huts standing strong in the scorching Namibian desert. Maybe, just maybe, there's something we can learn from this 3,000-year-old air conditioning system. Imagine waking up at dawn in a Himba village. The air is crisp, the sun barely peeking over the horizon. While we're hitting snooze, the Himba are already up and moving. This isn't just an early bird special. It's their secret weapon against the scorching desert heat. As the Himba head out to milk cattle, gather food, and fetch water, it's a flurry of activity that would make your average office worker's head spin. But this isn't just about getting chores done. It's a carefully choreographed routine designed to beat the heat. When the sun climbs higher, turning the world into a giant oven, the Himba don't fight it. They retreat indoors. Those mud huts aren't just shelter. They're part of an ingenious cooling system. Inside, they're not just lounging around. This is when the real magic happens. Elders teach kids to craft intricate jewelry. Families prepare food and pass down oral traditions. It's like a productive indoor workshop, all while helping to keep the hut cool. How? Well, their bodies are actually cooler than the 122 degrees Fahrenheit outside. So by staying inside, they're like human AC units, helping to keep the temperature down. It's a perfect example of how the Himba work with nature, not against it. As evening rolls around and the heat eases off, the Himba emerge from their huts. But they're not just coming out to enjoy the cooler air. Those mud walls that soaked up heat all day? Now they're slowly releasing it, creating a comfortable outdoor environment for evening activities. In the desert, the temperature shift from day to night is extreme. While daytime highs can soar past 122 degrees Fahrenheit, 50 degrees Celsius, the mercury can plummet to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4 degrees Celsius, or even lower after sunset. This drastic drop is due to the lack of humidity and cloud cover, which means there's nothing to trap the heat once the sun goes down. Without proper insulation, the cold can be just as unforgiving as the scorching heat of the day. Fortunately, the Himba's mud houses function as natural thermal batteries. The thick earthen walls, which spent the entire day absorbing and storing heat, now gradually release it into the cool night air. This slow radiation process not only prevents the interior of their homes from becoming uncomfortably cold, but also helps maintain a livable temperature for evening social gatherings. 
In essence, what was passive cooling during the day transforms into passive heating at night, providing warmth just when they need it most. This daily rhythm isn't just about staying cool. It's a way of life, deeply ingrained in Himba culture. It's how they've thrived in one of Earth's harshest environments for thousands of years. And it's a powerful reminder that sometimes, the most effective solutions are the simplest ones. So next time you're sweating it out on a hot day, think about the Himba. Think about their round mud huts standing strong in the Namibian desert. And ask yourself, how can I work with my environment instead of against it? The answers might surprise you. They might even change the way you think about staying cool. So, what have we learned from the Himba's cooling techniques? Sometimes, the most effective solutions are right under our feet. Their 3,000-year-old method isn't just clever. It's a masterclass in sustainable living. How can you apply this wisdom to your own life? Try adjusting your daily routine to work with nature's rhythms. Open windows at night to let in cool air. Or use light-colored curtains to reflect heat. Researchers are studying these traditional methods for modern architecture. Imagine buildings that stay cool without energy-guzzling air conditioning. The Himba have shown us it's possible to work with nature, not against it. So next time you reach for the thermostat, ask yourself, how could I apply the ancient knowledge of the Himba in my home? Maybe there is some area of the house that you can isolate in that way. I'll leave you with that thought. This is Primal Hacks, where the oldest wisdom reveals its best tricks. See you in the next one.